all the time. How much is your tour? Uh, can I get can I bring my kids? Yeah, you can bring them. You know, I mean, we're, we try to be pretty open and welcoming to as many people. It can be a little bit hot in here. It's the nature of the beast. We can't afford to air pollution in a warehouse. But, uh, and we try to give people a, a, you know, a whole, the whole experience of understanding exactly how it works. A lot of times people don't can't understand what goes into it. Or, yeah, every tour is sometimes lack knowledge. They're just like, this big thing, we put beer in. And it comes out beer. Yeah, here's some samples. And it's like, oh, thanks, for us. Yeah. <laughs> I've run into a few tours where it's kids and kids, kids working and they're giving it their best. They're like, well, you, yeah, this one holds beer. That one too. And then this is where the bottles are. This is uh, very good. Very good tour. Well, I enjoy it. We have fun. You know, we, it changes because of the crowd or the number of people. But, and in the winter, there'll be two people on it. If there's anybody on a Tuesday tour, but we still give a tour every Tuesday and every Saturday. Um, and just, you know, we want people to embrace what it takes to actually make beer. Not just that we can do beer, but you know, understand what the what we're trying to accomplish in doing that. Understand our you know, our efforts to try to be good Earth citizens and take care of the planet, recycle, and, you know, just all the complexities. Yeah, you, for a second you brought that up and I paid attention. You guys are real green. Like now, is, is there a, a reason not to go to bottles for that reason? Or is that, is that, is that a thought in there? To stay with growlers and beards? Hi, honey, you want to be on camera? Oh. <laughs> And, and our original thought was, we'll do growlers and we'll sell them in, you know, a dozen liquor stores near the peck stores near the brewery, and then we'd get calls, you know, can we sell your, you know, well, I'm in Wellfleet, can we sell your beer in our store in Wellfleet? It was like, uh, okay, you know, and it just it turned into, it's, you know, I don't know, it's probably about a third of our business at this point. Um, but when we started to think about what the next step was, you know, whether it's a bottling line or a canning line, the bottling line, it's, it's just so much waste, right? Twelve, you know, six packs, six bottles, twelve labels, six caps, a, a, a full color hardware carrier that's not made out of recycled paper because it can't be because the recycled paper absorbs too much liquid, and a full color hardware box, mother box that holds all of that stuff that is also not made out of recycled paper. It's just waste, you know, and okay, some people recycle, most people don't. Brown glass doesn't turn into anything. You know, they're starting to use it in roads now, but brown glass doesn't turn into other brown glass. They don't recycle it like that. So cans we're interested in. You know, a can within four, about 40 days from the recycling center comes turns back into a can. That's pretty cool. But for us, the next step for canning would probably cost us a quarter of a million dollars. Yeah, a quarter of a million dollars. I'm working on it. Do you a quarter of a million dollars? I mean, if you put a lot of credit cards and I'd have to fill out some applications, I'd probably get a couple personal guarantees. Like, well, and as, as my husband would point out to me, the quarter of a million dollars would buy the canning, the packaging line, and maybe the cans, right? But it doesn't buy the tanks or the employees to make the deal. To keep. You know, and then we get back to the conversation we were having before we started filming, which is we like to lay our head on our pillows at the end of every day. You know, that we pretty much own everything we've got. And that we don't, you know, I don't want to take on an enormous amount of debt. Uh, and we have to worry about that, worry about paying my employees, worry about my cash you know, all of that. So for us, it's just maybe sometime in the future. Um, and I don't want to can two cans at a time. God bless the people that do it that way. I can picture myself standing at the blood end of a tractor trailer full of cans and thinking about canning those cans. You have to buy an entire tractor trailer full of cans. One cap, one brand. At least the last time we looked at it. So you're opening the back of a tractor trailer, you know, ceiling full of empty cans. And you think about canning those cans two cans at a time. God bless the people that do it that way. <laughs> It's really tough. That's, that's a lot it's of really tough. Yeah. So anyway, so for us, you know, every package you're selling is pretty much refillable. You know, the keg, the keg's the ultimate refillable package. And we sell a lot of beer and kegs, and the growlers, same thing. We sell a lot of beer and growlers. Yes, I mean, canning and the concept of a bottle, we, we don't, we, we drink it mostly, we don't mostly drink. 
package of it. So we're on the other end. So this is We started to dry. It didn't go very well the first time. I think it was because it was in Queens. Yeah, I was Is there more drinking than homebrewing? That that was probably. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, have a home room. There is a certain amount of moderation required there. Yeah, exactly. so we're not, we're not going with that part. I was like, no, we're, we're going to relax. I'm pretty chill for a minute. Let it boil. Wait, what, what do you mean 45 minutes? What are we going to do in the meantime? So we're working on that. We're going to get there. That's how we started. That's how my husband started. Yeah.